Well, good evening, Yarnies, Yarny friends, everyone who loves yarn, one and all. We are here in the Yarn Shack, Yarn Palace, Yarn Room, Yarn, Yarn Ball. <laughs> and I am super excited to talk about what we're going to talk about tonight. Okay, I think yesterday I told you a couple of times about some AI generated patterns that I was excited about. And uh, I, there's been a lot of AI generated stuff coming out lately, like as far as pictures, you notice my last two thumbnails have had AI generated pictures. Uh, so I saw another YouTuber, uh, his name's D Nimmin. He's Nick Nimmin's brother. I don't, for those of you who are, who are into the making YouTube video geekiness, like I am, you'll know who they are, but he was telling us about this game changing new um, website. It's, I forget exactly what it's open something open AI. I've, I've got the link for the website in the link down below. I have made another bubble up link that I am going to be referring to. So if you want to take a look at those pictures in that link, that's cool. I also have, um, I'll be showing a slideshow. I know, right? Weird. But I have got a slideshow. <laughs> Sorry, I just looked at this AI generated people. Babies grown in pods. <laughs> Jamie, you got it. No, but anyway, the, the thing about the AI generated patterns had me curious. So let me show you what I've got. My plan tonight for the crochet with me is to work on one of these AI generated patterns if you want to. I'm going to show you what they are. And uh, I have all three patterns in that link. So you should be able to click it and see the patterns. But before you start any of them, I'm going to tell you what's up with them. So I know it's kind of sounds all not clear. Let me say hi to everybody real first, and then I'll get on to the slideshow. Let's see. Hi, Sherry. Hi, LaShira. Hi, Marlene. Hi, Lori. Hi, Alice. Hello, Ed and Emmy and doo -doo, Sarah and Joy and Jess and King. Hello, King. Hello, Miss Jamie. Hello, Miss Melanie. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Lori. Doo -doo. Let's see who else is in here. I went up way too fast. <laughs> Hi, Lydia. Hi, Lisa. Hello, Lucy. I think I said hello, Lucy, again. Hi, Cecilia. I might have said Cecilia again. <laughs> Hi, Heidi. Hi, little baby spooky bats. Okay. So let's go over to the slideshow. And I hope that I do it good. I hope I do it well. So um, I'm going to go to present. I I want to make this seamless and smooth for you guys because, you know, I'm here to make you happy. <laughs> Hi, Patty. Hi, Lita. So you guys, now I want to tell you, I want to start this by saying I actually have three patterns written out for you in the description. But I didn't necessarily write them. <laughs> the AI program did. Okay, let me go to, um, I'm just going to go to entire screen, share, and then I'm going to, oops, go over to, where's my thingamajig here? And I'm going to make it big size. And then I think we'll be able to sh we'll be able to have it work. I'm bound and determined. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna pay for this, you guys, I'm gonna make it work. Okay. If Streamyard is sharing your screen, 
no, we're going to hide that. Okay, it's just taking a couple of sec seconds. It's a little slow. Okay. And I'm going to expand that. We'll get that notification off of there. Yeah, I thought you guys might really, really like this. I'm super excited to show this to you guys. Okay. Now, this looks intense, right? What AI can do. Hold on. Let me get my layout set here. Like, you guys are like, really? What does this have to do with crochet? Well, apparently it has a lot to crochet. And I'm not, has a lot to do with crochet. And I'm not the only one who thinks so. So here, we're going to go to the next screen. And wow. Okay. So here we go. Here are two AI generated things. We have my face and we have whatever the heck that thing is that was attempted to be made. <laughs> um, you'll see down in the link. I don't know if anybody has checked the link down below or not yet. Uh, Ravelry had a thing a couple of years ago called Skynet. And it was the same thing. It was the same thing, except it pertained to knitting. And uh, somebody else on Ravelry did a thing that was called Hat 3000, where they said, okay, so we've know, we, we know AI has been doing the knitting. Let's get it to do this thing for crochet. <laughs> Hi, Deneen. Deneen, okay, so what we're talking about right now, in case... In case anybody is coming in late, we're talking about this new uh, CGI, or I forget what it's called, computer generated stuff that supposedly can write patterns. And I want to, oops, okay. Here's the first one. And I have linked several articles about this, about, how you know how the maybe the patterns work or don't work now i just want you to check out these amigurumis these are computer generated amigurumis and what do you guys think about these do they look like they should now these ones actually are looking pretty decent Hi, Lisa. I look like a Sim from The Sims. I do. <laughs> right? Little baby spooky bats. Imagine Terminator robots crocheting. Totally crazy. No to those. Right? I mean, can you guys see here? Like that one that is a big picture. They're a little messed up. It's like the computer didn't know where to put their body parts and stuff. I don't know what the things are on its head. I think it's got little private parts down there at the bottom of his body. Yes, AI equals artificial intelligence. Thank you, Donna. I'm, I'll need to write that maybe into the description. So, because some people might not, not, might not get that. Yeah, I didn't, I'm, I probably wouldn't get it if I saw it. Yeah, they're a little messed up. So, and this is what made me think of that. I pulled up one of the computer generated patterns that I had this uh, software or this website make for me. And I started to crochet it. And let me show you what it turned out as. Well, actually I couldn't get any further because I was like, yeah, they do look like toys from the Island of Forgotten Toys. <laughs> Creepy. Yes, Lisa. So what I put it as is make a like a simple crochet pattern uh, for a Christmas stocking worked in the round. And so this is this is what it started off as. I, I don't know if you guys can see that in the corner. It just started like maybe that's not right. And then 
the next part of the pattern said, okay, so now to start on the toe and the heel, and it was like, no, no, this, I don't even know what's going on here. So I thought, okay, it's either, it's just me, I'm not reading this right, or something's funky, something bad's going down with the computer generated programs. Yeah, they sort of look like Baby Yoda gone wrong. <laughs> Jamie, I saw the clip about the babies being <laughs> made in pods. Oh my goodness. Donna, think of AI like playing checkers against a robot online. The AI thinks it moves. Yeah, it, and thinking and crocheting maybe is not a good move. Okay, so I kind of enlarged some of these guys. And I don't even know... they're just weird they're they're a little bit fuzzy but they're also a little bit weird i think the one down in the right corner emma no you know what emma your email still didn't come through i don't know what's going on i checked my spam and everything I, I will send you another email to try to send it through i don't know what's going on with that but i'm really disappointed because i really want to start on on your amigurumi. Hi, Amy. Hi, Granny D. Yay, it's a squirrel raid. Okay, everybody here, everybody coming in from the squirrel raid and Granny D, I need to tell you what we're talking about. I have been looking at some um, computer generated pat, uh, this website that says it will make you know, it'll do anything, not just patterns, but it'll write papers, it will write blog posts, it will write scripts for YouTube. Yeah, Tim Burton on acid. <laughs> Hi, Pamela. And, you know, it's, it, it's really a very smart thing. They do look deformed. Um, but, you know, the things they write out, like I said, give me five YouTube titles for like crocheting and astrology and it came out with some really cool titles of videos that i think i would like to make so i thought well if it can do that it can write a pattern hi adia hello hello i know lacy what is that so anyway uh what happened was i started i said okay write me a pattern for this simple in the round crochet christmas stocking and i'll try to do it Hi, Evelyn. So here's what it started out as. And then when it got to this point, it said, okay, to make the heel do like single crochet, half double crochet, single crochet, half double crochet. And then when you finish that to make the toe go on this side and single crochet and half double crochet. And I was like, what? This is not going to be good. So then I decided, um, Maybe I should look this up on the internet to see if the same thing has happened with other people. And lo and behold, it did. And I'm showing some of the things here. These are a couple of things they were listed on a website, I believe. I have the link. It's the very first link down in the description to my little mini website I made on Bubble Up that will show all of the... Um, of the like articles i found and it is so funny Lori, have you seen the family guy episode where stewie duplicates himself <laughs> that's what i see here yes gary <laughs> denise need to dry fish uh ice fishing just started i'm already sick of cooking fish oh i can't even imagine little baby spooky bats have to give it credit for being unique and like nothing done before amen to that here come the robots, Adia says. Oh my gosh, yeah, he duplicates himself. Granny D, it will probably take, yes, that's what I'm thinking. Time to work out the bugs, as with most things. Jamie, wait, that creature is the outcome of a pattern in your head? <laughs> no, it's in the AI's head. And this was in the AI's head. <laughs> Dave, it's actually better than I thought. Two ears, nose, mouth, two arms, two legs. Does the middle one have a beaver tail? 
It either has a beaver tail or a great big, um, you know, Lori. <laughs> These are things night bears are made of. <laughs> beaver tail, Jamie says, I see sperm. <laughs> King, making the elf hat you made for the, oh, for, you made, oh, cool, for, for your wife. Okay, now this, I don't know what this is exactly. This is one of the pictures that I found in the Ravelry, and I'll, I'll tell everybody again. Yeah, the one in the back looks like conjoined twins, exactly. So I guess a while back, I don't know exactly what year it is. You guys will be able to tell if you check down in the, uh, in the link in the description uh, to the, all the articles. This was a knitting pattern. I think it was supposed to be a hat. I'm not sure, but this was called knit. Um, let's see, was it knit, knit link? Something knit, sky knit. That's what it's called. It was called sky knit and it was all about knitting these AI knit patterns. Let's see, Emma says, okie dokie, thanks. My partner is the techie in the family. He has been trying all afternoon to get it to send properly. I won't go into full detail. Very long-winded explanation. Oh, yeah. Computers. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, awesome. Yeah, computers. <laughs> it looks like a parasite. I know. But this is in Ravelry, and it is under, if you look it up in Ravelry, or you go down below, whatever, it is under Skynet. Okay, let's see the next one. So I wasn't going crazy. This is another one. I think it was supposed to be a hat. And, uh, bruh, Skynet. Skynet. <laughs> I know. Scary. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Lacey. So, I mean... It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So there's that one. And here's another one. It's kind of pretty. It looks like a plant leaf, but I think it also was supposed to be a hat. <laughs> yeah, that, that's exactly right. Cannot replace us for sure. Cannot replace us. <laughs> It's a tapeworm. Yeah, that's what that last one was, is a tapeworm. Okay, so now this is this is the thing. I, I was reading, and it was so funny, on Ravelry, the, um, and kind of like to add crochet to it, somebody on Ravelry, and I love their name. I can't remember it right now. Yeah, makes me makes me think of Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> for sure. So, um, oh, what was I saying? They made up a thing called Hat Three. It's either Hat Three Thousand or Hat Five Thousand, where they were going to try to do the same thing, except with hat patterns. These are the physical manifestation that explain why companies need to let AI. Letting AI screen out resumes. Is this what they say is good? No wonder I haven't gotten an interview. Amen to that, Lori. Okay, wait till you, okay. So these are some of the crochet hats. <laughs> these are crazy. And I didn't put in like all the words, what they wrote about it. It's, it's funny when you read the articles. The articles are super duper funny. Lisa, no, they replace us, but the scary part is they can destroy us. Yikes. Aim into that. Okay, yeah, so this is like some crazy, weird looking, uh, it was supposed to be a hat. I mean, it looks like maybe something you could start off as a freeform crochet thing. <laughs> right? King Ginger, when you made the elf hat, did you do the foundation double crochet? If so, how does just a slip stitch join it all the way? Oh, 
working on that. I slip stitch it together. And then uh, what will be on the on the others on the bottom of it is the string that was left over when you started. And so you just use that kind of like when you weave it in, you sew in that end to the other end. So the slip stitch doesn't hook it all together. It just hooks the top of it together. But then that one leftover string from when you started it from your beginning chain, you can use it to sew that little part on. Hi, Lori. Let's, what kind of head are we supposed to have, right? <laughs> Hi, Anthony. Looks like a half-eaten heart. It does. Lacey Batch, you're right. Maybe this is more of a threat than it <laughs> Okay, awesome, King. Great. Okay, so then the next one is, this was another crochet hat. This is a crochet hat. <gasps> Happy birthday, Anthony. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. I am so happy that you're here on your birthday. So how old are you Are you on this happy day, Anthony? Lori, the middle one is pretty as an embellishment to an actual hat. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I mean, yeah, same with this. This could be like some weird... 35. All right, well, happy 35, Anthony. Okay, this next one, these are just a couple of different things. Like one was supposed to be a hat. It looks like a rectangle on the Barbie. Just some other weird things, you know. Just This is just kind of to show you how weird. Hey, oh, Lamone won a bag of day giveaway. That is cool. Emmy, looks like a flower. It does look like a flower, but I think it's supposed to be a hat. <laughs> Got wishing snow for the next week. Yeah. Okay, now this was supposed to be a slipper. That is supposed to be a slipper. And then um, the one next to it, I think it was supposed to be a slipper too. I'm not sure. Maybe they are. Now, what's a fascinator? Demon doll. <laughs> or something. It kind of, yeah, it looks like a demon rabbit or something, maybe. Okay, and this is another hat. It ends up looking like a brain or a scrubby. But you can see, here's the steps they took. There's one... And then, you know, put a few more rounds on it and a few more. And then it just turns out to some weird looking brain thing. <laughs> I know. So listen, you guys, we'll be glad to know that that we will not be replaced by robots. Robots cannot replace our crochet skills, which is good. Okay, let's go to the next one. Do you think you're going to go ahead with AI? <laughs> nah. Okay, for some reason, it's not letting me go ahead. Oh, it made it go backwards. Okay, here. Let's do the... Oh, there's that one. Oh, it's not letting me go any further. I don't know why. Something on my screen is being weird. Oh, okay, here we go. I wonder why it's not going anywhere. Here, I'm going to I'm going to make it little for a second. Fascinators were embellishments worn on the head in the Titanic era. Okay. Okay, I'm going to see if this will move now. Okay, it's not going. Oh, I know why it is, you guys. This was the last one. So I'm going to stop sharing this right now. I'm going to close it. And I'm going to go to StreamYard. And then I want to tell you a few things. Has anybody looked down on the link down below and seen the patterns that I got? Okay, I'll tell you a little about these patterns. So I... I copied three patterns that I looked up in this website. 
and um, one, let's see, the first one, I'll do them in order here as soon as it comes up. The first one is supposed to be a simple crochet pattern for Christmas stocking that can be worked in the round. And that is the one that was looking like this. Now you can see it a little better. And then the next thing it says to do, well, it said to work it in red, white, and green yarn. But, and this part was supposed to be red. And then you're supposed to start in with using a white or something. But it says, um, you're supposed to do this part. Okay. Like you get to this. And okay, for one, it started out as a magic circle, and then you crochet 10 single crochets in the middle, which you know it's going to turn out like that if they tell you to put 10 single crochets in the middle. Okay, so then what it tells you is to, when you get this far, crochet around and around and around, one crochet in each one until it's as long as you want it to be. So then basically you've got like this bottom and some lumpy thing coming up here. And then it says, um, change to white yarn for one row and change to green yarn for one row. And then it says, Continue working in the round, repeating step seven until the stocking reaches desired length, right? Okay, so that's what we've got there. So I guess it's got a stripe of red or a stripe of green and a stripe of white. And then it says to make heel, work half of the stitches in single crochet and other half of, other half in half double crochet stitches. I know. To make a toe, work the first half of the stitches in single crochet and the second half in half double crochet stitches. Finish off and weave in any loose ends. So clearly not going to work. Okay, so then I, I did the second one, which was a AI generated simple crochet Christmas stocking pattern. So I thought, okay, that's okay. I'll start that, which it turned, it started out pretty good. And if you guys, if you guys have looked down there, you see, I, I actually added in the patterns for these. And this is how I'm going to be putting my patterns into um, my YouTube videos from now on is by using this bubble up, by making a bubble up link for each video, basically, that I do. So, okay, this is supposed to be the top right here. And then you're supposed to go, you know, or I don't know if it's supposed to be the top. It just said, do this. And then you're cro supposed to crochet like uh, seven or eight stripes of white, green, white, green, white, green. So you're thinking, okay, so what this must be is you're crocheting two halves that you're going to sew together, maybe. And then you're going to be working on the heel and the toe in just a little bit, but um, you get down to row 42 and it says, now to make the top of the stocking. So I thought this was the top of the stocking, either that or this is supposed to be the foot. And then chain one and turn, single crochet in the first stitch, and then it didn't finish the pattern. So there's that one, dud. And an AI generated winter hat pattern. This one was pretty decent. It was pretty easy. It just says, you know, <laughs> basically, how could you go wrong with a double, double crochet hat? It, it, it's pretty easy. The only thing I have to say about it bad is that it did not finish the pattern. So it leaves you hanging. It says for 
Continue working in this manner, increasing the number of stitches between the double crochets that are worked until into each stitch until the hat reaches the desired width, which, you know, for a standard adult size hat, you will need to increase until there are about 60 stitches around the hat. That's what they say. And then we know where it goes from there. You just crochet down, but they didn't add the rest of that in. So Lori says, I think AI just needs to start with granny squares and washcloths <laughs> like the rest of us. I know. Emma says the only AI I would trust is Jarvis. Now I've never heard of that. Hi, Sherry. No, wait, I did hear somebody talking about it, but I didn't look into it any further. Hey, Sherry. So what do you guys think? I mean, I would like to hear what you guys have to say about all of this. Hi, Vicki. You, you just missed the whole AI show. <laughs> But I was interested that Ravelry had um, had some stuff about it. And uh, I don't know. I just thought it was pretty fun. So I, I always am looking for new and fun stuff to look at and do. But anyway, we're only halfway through. We figured out that the AI patterns are all duds. And is there anything in particular? <laughs> yeah, Deneen Wright. I will definitely stick with real people. It's Iron Man's AI. Now, Iron Man, like the... What? Oh, Iron Man. <laughs> Jarvis is only in the Marvel Universe. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll stick with Jarvis for sure. Emmy, it's a, it's a show. They were very funny. See, that's what I was thinking. I thought these are very funny. If you guys want to, you know, read any more, I've got the links down below. Um, but the thing that the AI is good with is for like, I don't know, making lists of things and all that kind of stuff. Um, but anyway... Now that we've got 30 minutes that is not AI, we can maybe crochet something else. Or would you like to go onto that website and try to make another pattern and see if it works? Maybe I'll do that. I'm going to leave it up to you, you guys. This is this is up to you guys. Until then, I'm going to be looking. I'm going to be acting like... I am going to be going there. I think it will get better with time, says Emily. Let me show you. Let me show you what this looks like. Okay. So I go to the AI Knit and Crochet. I'm going to I'm gonna click on the link. The open, it's openai.com is what the thing is. And I'm going to... Let me go onto StreamYard again. Crochet good em ups. I think it's worth a try just to see. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to share the whole thing. Whoops, it's just taken a minute or two. Okay, share screen. And I'm going to do the entire screen again and I'm going to click on my Oops, thingy here, AI knit and crochet. So this is what your, if you open it on a computer, this is what it looks like. Here's another one of those AI generated faces. I look so much younger, but I've got some metal things around my neck. And this is just, this is the link that you will click if you wanna go to this yourself right here. And I have, clicked on that and I need to log in. I think I logged, it's called chat GPT. And I just go in with my Google. I am not a robot. Ha! Ironic because they are a robot. Goof, goof em ups, crochet. I mean, <laughs> darn autocorrect. Okay, so here's what the screen looks like when you get to it. 
This is a free research preview. Our goal is to get external feedback in order to improve our systems and make them safer. While we have safeguards in place, the system may occasionally generate incorrect or misleading information and produce offensive or biased content. Now, mind you, this, this um, is supposed to do any kind, of, not just crochet, but any kind of um, stuff. Let's see, conversations may be reviewed with our AI trainers to improve our systems. Please don't share any sense of information. And they also have a Discord, so I am going to go. Oh, wait a minute. The Sims is the first to do that. AI, that Will guy is a genius. Oh, is he the guy that made the Sims? <laughs> I know, right? Computers asking us to prove our humanity. Okay, so I'm going to throw one out there. Let's see. Um, I'm going to hide that. And then I'm going to say, okay. Um, how about, hi, Pixie Stitch. Hello, hello, hello. Just got home from work. Veronica, you guys, Pixie Stitch's name is Veronica. Doesn't she have a beautiful name? <laughs> For anybody who doesn't know, my youngest daughter is named Veronica, and I love that name. Okay, so here we go. Um, write a crochet pattern um, for a, what should we make? For a sweater. Let's be complicated. And then... Click on there, it thinks for a minute. And then it says, here's a basic crochet sweater pattern. Worsted weight yarn, crochet hook size H, chain 52. Single crochet, and then it just like basically starts writing the pattern. Can you imagine that? I mean, I don't know, I'm maybe I'm gonna, save this and see if it will make something. <laughs> Jamie, who else is super happy to see Ginger so nicely tried out this horrifying website for us? Yes, I saved you guys. I saved you guys from all of this. Oh, wait a minute. It, it has the whole, it's like it did the whole thing. So listen, can you imagine this? A whole sweater pattern in like a page. So we're going to, let's see, how can I save this? There's no actual way to save it. I'm so bummed out. Okay, well, there's no actual way to save it. So I guess I can't save it. It will make something, Some yeah, if somebody, if. Can somebody take a picture of it or a screenshot with your phone and send it to me? Because then I will try to do something to make this. Did it tell you what the finished product will be? Well, it's supposed to be a sweater, Yarn Fairy. Um, just a crochet sweater, but maybe not what size it is. And uh, let's see if I can... No, it's... I can't do the whole thing. Well, anyway, that's a hoot. <laughs> Lori, you need an AI stenographer so you can dictate patterns. Right. Lori, that thing's going to have three stems and no neck hole. <laughs> Ed, right? It will make something. Sure, it will make something, but heaven only knows what. Ah, uh, thanks, King. Screenshot using your SNP tool on your PC. What Now, what's the SNP tool? I have no idea. Pixie, I always thought being a stenographer would be a cool job. Not that I have the skills to do that, but I always thought it would be a cool job, too. Screenshot. Jamie sent a photo. Oh, thank you, Jamie. Yes, I will make. <laughs> thank you. Windows, key, and G. Windows key and G 
will capture anything that goes on your screen. Okay, so do I press it at the same time? I don't know if it's doing it. So I press Windows, go to the three dots in the corner. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe it's doing it. Okay, it's doing something weird now. Now, oh, welcome to X. Oh, I don't want that. Okay, I don't want Spotify. Okay, I don't want that. Whatever Xbox did. Okay, I'm going to close this. <laughs> Your original AI. Okay, Joy, I'm going to go to the three dots in the corner. This needs to go away. Okay, I'm going to go to the three dots in the corner. And favorites, collections, history, shopping, apps. Um, print web capture. Control. Control shift S. No, not web catcher. Web capture? Yeah. Control shift S. Is that it? Okay. Control shift S. Oh, capture full page. You guys, we all learned something. <laughs> Yeehaw. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I learned, you learn something new every day. Okay, so I'd share. Is there a thing for save? Yes, I want to save. Press at same time. I can make movies of whatever goes on with your computer. Okay, so yay, it's saved. Or FN button and print screen button together. Oh, okay. There, so there's a couple of ways to do it. Pixie, when my older sister was in high school, she took a course in shorthand. I don't think they really teach that anymore. You know what? I, I took one and I, I took shorthand. That was right before there started being PC in every home being in the, yeah, I, I graduated from high school in 88 and they still did shorthand and they did, um, uh, they didn't have computers yet. Oh, <gasps> okay. Okay. Yeah. Now to remember it. Exactly. I think it was control shift S we'll, we'll, we'll try. What do you guys, I'm going to take the first one that comes up. What do you guys want me? What do you guys want a pattern for to see if it works or anything else? It doesn't have to be a pattern. Uh, Lisa, it's better than having like 200 screenshots of the ground and the inside of my pocket every day. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I've got some good pictures like that going straight up the nose. Emma, 88, I was only two years old. Aww. You're, you're like the age of one of my little sisters. Actually, she was born in 84, so you're a couple years younger than her. King, I used a typewriter in high school because we didn't have computers. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Okay, when I went to, when I started KU, they were even accepting handwritten papers still, like handwritten college papers. If you didn't, it was optional whether you did it on word processor um, which was a pain. Sam was, wasn't born yet. Oh my gosh. I, I feel so old. Sarah, the high school I went to didn't teach shorthand, but instead they taught speed writing. Interesting. Interesting. They taught speed writing. That's what I thought shorthand was. How does one speed write? <laughs> Okay, well, if nobody's going to give me something, I'm going to put something, um, I'm going to think of something funny. Let's see. Uh, Y'all are young. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. <laughs> okay, let's think of a video. Oh, let's see. Yarn. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Make a video 
script for yarn and crochet for beginners. Oh, thanks, Emma. Okay, my new favorite person. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you're so sweet. I am 52. Emmy, I'm too old to remember what I learned in school. <laughs> try an elf. Oh, that's a good thing to try. Pixie, we had a word processor with floppy disks when I was little. The thing was so frustrating. I know, so hard to correct anything. You still have to use whiteout like you did on the typewriter. Okay, so... This is what maybe it will. Hi there. Are you a beginner at yarn and crochet? Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, we're going to go over the basics of working with yarn and hook to create beautiful crochet projects. First, let's talk about yarn. Yarn comes in all different colors, textures, and weights. For beginners, it's best to start with a medium weight yarn, also known as worsted weight yarn. This type of yarn is easy to work with and creates a nice, sturdy fabric. When it comes to choosing a crochet hook, the size of the hook you use will depend on the weight of your yarn. Worsted weight yarn is typically paired with a hook size H. Now let's talk about the basic crochet stitches. The single crochet stitch is the most basic and is the building block for many other stitches. To create a single crochet stitch, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Then yarn over again and pull up through both loops on your hook. Another important stitch to know is a chain stitch. This stitch is used to create the foundation of your project and is also used to add height and create decorative elements. To create a chain stitch, yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook. Once you've mastered the single crochet and chain stitches, you start working on simple projects like scarves, stitch costs, and pot holders. As you become more comfortable with the stitches and techniques, you can move on to more advanced projects like blankets, sweaters, and more. With a little practice and patience, you'll be crocheting like a pro in no time. Happy crocheting! <laughs> okay, so what do you think? Does it make a good video? <laughs> Pixie, I think I was around 12 when our family got our first computer and haven't looked back since. Amen to that. King, at first I thought you were near my age, actually. Oh my God. Now, how old are you, King? Yeah, Jamie, right? Floppy disk equals Oregon Trails. Aw, thank you, Pixie. Bear, you need a chain before a single crochet. Exactly. King, yes, Jamie. Actually, you can still play the original on the internet now. Oh, bye, Lucy. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. Okay, so anyway, that's that's that. If anybody else has anything you'd like me to put into here, I will definitely do it. Was born the same day and year as Kim. Oh, that's right. That's right, King. Okay. I'm just going to take it back to StreamYard. Whoops. Nope, nope, nope. I got to, I got to take it off of, uh, here, we'll just stop screen. Okay. There we go. We're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. I read it really fast. <laughs> Makes me think of Google translate, trying to translate to Chinese. Yeah. Good night, Lucy. Oh, I hope I'm not scaring people off with this weird video. Pixie, I've really been enjoying foundation rows lately. I'm not very good with tension on chains, and it takes me forever with a chain to do the first row. But foundation fixes that for me. Yeah, I I have a love, love-hate relationship with foundation crochet stitches. I love actually. <sighs> It's kind of a pain to do when you're doing it, but then when you are making, especially with scarves, foundation, like whatever stitch I need to use, I either a foundation single or half double crochet is usually what I start out with on a scarf. Yeah, it did better than, it, it did better. It did pretty good. When, um... <laughs> Yeah, so can you imagine kids writing, like, 
kids in college could write term papers with this. And I'm like, Ooh, maybe we don't need that. Maybe we don't need that so much. <laughs> oh, nice. Emma, your cat is trying to stab you in the butt. Ask it to draw a picture of us. It won't. Okay, Lori, it doesn't draw pictures, but it will, uh, it will put things in words, if that makes sense. Lori, you know what's coming next, right? Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> Lori, I fell in love with the herringbone stitch. Aww. Janine, I am back. Been listening while frying fish. I love foundation single crochet. It is better for ear warmers because, yeah, because it's stretchy. Yeah, I love foundation crochet, foundation stitch crochets for sure. Oh, okay. I will ask it how to build a snowman. I won't bring it back up just because that'll take a while, but I'll read you what it says. Okay. Ask it how to build a snowman. Um, explain how to draw, how to build a snow man oh this is going to be a treat building a snowman is a fun winter activity that the whole family can enjoy here are the steps to make a snowman one gather supplies you will need three large snowballs one for body one for middle and one for the head a carrot for the nose, sticks for the arms, and then coal or buttons for the eyes and mouth and any other decorations you would like to use, scarves, hats, etc. Make the snowballs. Roll the first snowball on the ground until it is large and round. This will be the body of the snowman. Repeat with the other two snowballs, making them slightly smaller than the first snowball. Assemble the snowman. Place the largest snowball on the ground and stack the other two on top of it to create the body middle and head of snowman. Add the facial features. Use the coal or buttons to create the eyes, mouth, and place the carrot nose on the middle snowball. Add the arms. Stick the arms into the sides of the middle snowball. Add any additional decorations. Use your imagination to add any other decorations you like, such as a scarf or a hat. And there you have it, your very own snowman. Have fun building and decorating your snowman and be sure to take lots of pictures to share with family and friends. <laughs> ask it or, oh ask it to write a love letter to crochet oh okay 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 um write a love letter to crochet okay let's see what it says do they even write papers anymore i thought they stopped because everyone just buys them online no, they still write papers. Dearest Crochet, where do I even begin? From the moment I picked up a hook and yarn, I knew that you and I were meant to be. At first, I was a little intimidated by you. The loops and stitches seemed so foreign and complicated, but as I practiced and learned your techniques, I began to understand your beauty and complexity. With each project, I fell more and more in love with you. Your endless creativity and versatility never cease to amaze me. One moment I can be making a simple dishcloth, and the next I'm creating a complex and beautiful sweater. The possibilities are truly endless with you, my love. You bring me joy and relaxation like nothing else can. The rhythmic movements of your stitches are like a soothing balm for my soul. I can lose myself for hours in your intricate patterns and designs. Thank you, dear Crochet, for being a constant source of inspiration and joy in my life. I am forever grateful for the love and happiness you bring me. <laughs> Yours always, the Yarn Geek. Well, isn't that just fabulous? <laughs> I love Lori, you come up with the best ideas. You guys remind me of preteens making prank calls. <laughs> well, that is awesome, right, Bear? Oh, Denine. <laughs> Hi, Jane. Work it, lurking and working on a blanket. Still on never. You will get done. Jamie. Ginger, I'm worried about you. Perhaps the air quality in there is with all the <laughs> yarn is. Hmm. 
Right, Lori? Now that is a great result, Jamie. I am, my, my head is full of yarn. Yeah, that's pretty good, right? Cute. Oh, the possibilities of what to ask, evil adult. <laughs> Laugh. Jess, that was pretty, yes. Save that for Valentine's Day. I know. Ask how to bathe a cat. Oh, I'm going to. Lisa, oh my gosh, I made pot pie. My dog is having a fit because I'm not <laughs> eating it. Okay, let's see. How to bathe a cat. That's a good one. Okay, but first I need to screenshot to save the love letter because it doesn't have a place where you can save it. So I need to save, I need to save my AI crochet love letter. Um, here we go. Let's see, what was it? It was control shift S. Capture full page. And save. <laughs> For the snowman, it said to put the carrot in the middle snowball. <laughs> I didn't catch that. Oh, my gosh. How did I not catch that? Joy, thanks for catching that. Yarn fairy. Four more rows of owl feathers to go. Then attach and make the head. Oh, cool. Yeah, pot pie sounds really good. Yum for the pot pie. Okay. Um, let's see back explain how to give a cat a bath yeah total yum to the pot pie we the best pot pie i have ever had i've ever had is marie calendar's Oh, yeah, I cannot wait to see. Now, is this, um, Yarn Fairy, is this like, I forgot what, I forgot what you said it is. Is it like a stuffed owl? Lori, I caught that too. A carrot belly button instead of a carrot nose. <laughs> It'll have little orange, like little orange stains around the belly button. Here, I thought I heard the middle snowball too, but thought I misheard. That snowman might look a little naughty. <laughs> oh, yeah. A straight orange carrot sticking out of where his... Pixie, I want to see when you're done, Yarn Fairy. Chris, Ginger, you do not write papers. You write essays. Yes, you hit this English major. <laughs> pet peeve. Oh! I'm sorry. Yes, you write essays. I humbly apologize, Chris. <laughs> Pixie, Emmy and I are coming over for pot pie, Lisa. LOL. For sure. I want to come too. Please post when you are done, Yarn Fairy. Can't wait to see. I know. Me too. Deneen, I love Marie Callender's chicken lasagna. Yes, I love that. It is so good. I, but I would get it and the kids would all be like, Mom yuck this is gross i guess the kids apparently don't like chicken lasagna okay i don't know let's see what the cat <laughs> oh Subi, thanks for keeping me entertained tonight daughters daughter is in ob triage baby needs to stay put for a while oh my goodness Oh my goodness. Yeah. Keep, keep her safe. Yarn Fairy. Thanks, Lisa. I'm pretty excited about this project. Usually not a fan of my own work until a few months after it's completed. Yeah, I, I really want to see it. So, oh, let's see. Let's see if the robot knows how to bait a cat. Okay. I need to go up a little bit. Giving a cat a bath can be a challenging task, but it's important for maintaining your cat's health and hygiene. Here are some steps to follow when giving your cat a bath. Gather supplies. Before you begin, make sure you have everything you need. You will need a cat safe shampoo, a towel, a cup for rinsing, and a brush if your cat has long hair. Fill the sink or tub with lukewarm water. The water should be deep enough to cover your cat's paws, but not so deep that your cat will feel overwhelmed. Three, wet your cat's coat. 
Use the cup or your hands to wet your cat's coat thoroughly, making sure to avoid getting water in your cat's eyes and ears. Apply the shampoo, squeeze a, solid, squeeze a small amount of cat safe shampoo onto your hand and work it into your cat's coat, starting at the head and working your way down to the tail. Be sure to massage the shampoo in well and avoid getting into your cat's eyes, ears, and mouth. Rinse your cat. Use a cup to carefully rinse all of the shampoo out of your cat's coat. Make sure to rinse thoroughly to avoid leaving any soap residue behind. Dry your cat. Use the towel to gently dry your cat's coat, paying special attention to the paws and tail. If your cat has long hair, you may want to use a brush to help remove any tangles. Reward your cat. After the bath, be sure to give your cat lots of praise and treats to let them know they did a good job. With a little patience and persistence, you can give your cat a successful and stress-free bath. It's important to only bathe your cat as needed, as overbathing can strip their coat of natural oils. If you're unsure about how often to bathe your cat, consult your vet veterinarian. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, well, I'll ask him more later. <laughs> well, oh, Sandy. Okay, so um, this is what you do. This is... I have Sandy, and for anybody else who wants to go check out this website, I've I've linked it in uh, the first link below. The first link below is basically a little small website where I put everything that we talked about tonight in there. And the very first one where it shows this weird picture of me that's like looks like space age AI generated. When I have some things around my neck. Um, there's a thing that says. Open AI, what's the name of this? Oh, openai.com. Open a it's chat.openai.com. And you guys, it's fun. It's fun to play with. You guys, I, you know, not that you would use it for anything, but go in and try it. Have fun with it. And uh, just remember, if you ask it to write a pattern, it might be weird. It might be a weird pattern that you come up with. It might make something that, you know, is, is wrong. <laughs> and I saw that thumbnail image and thought it was Barbie. <laughs> it's an AI generated picture of me. You're very, okay, Ginger, don't know how you did it, but somehow you activated an AI voice on my computer. <gasps> Pretty dang spooky. Turned it on and it's talking to me about Bluey. What? That is crazy. How did... Whoa, we're going to have to talk about that. That's weird. An AI voice on your computer. Oh my gosh. I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay. Now listen, Lori, what I'm going to do is... Lori says, this is totally how my friends and I would have spent the night at a sleepover in middle school. For sure. Okay, Lori, so I'm going to ask it that question. Let's see, what is it? Hi, Missy. Now that we're all cat bathing experts, let's try it out tomorrow morning with Kim and walk her through it. <laughs> yeah, like they don't put in there that cats will scratch the living daylights out of you. Oh, no protection for the human in the cat bath. Right? Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm I magic now that I asked it earlier what I needed to do to make Bluey talk to people on their computers. Oh my gosh, that is so scary. That's so weird. I promise I didn't do anything. I didn't. I'm not that kind of magic. I have magic fingers for crochet, but not anything else. <laughs> well, you guys... Thank you so much for, for listening. And now you guys, I tried it so you guys don't have to. And, uh, and <laughs> yeah, Jamie priceless that, right. That would be great. We're, I need to take a picture of this so I can literally tell Kim how to bathe her cats. That would be perfect. So Okay, you guys have a wonderful night. Take a look at that link if you want to. It's it's all fun. Um, and I will see you tomorrow morning with Kim.
I screenshot the pattern. We should all try it. I know. And you guys, I put all of those weird looking links those <laughs> down below and you guys can try out any other crazy patterns on here too. So you guys have a wonderful night and I will see you first thing bright and squirrely tomorrow morning. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye.